hello everyone welcome back to the channel fantastic to have you back again today i'm just going to give you a tour of my other bike uh, one that hasn't really made an appearance on the channel yet because you've always seen me on my honda blackbird and today i'm going to talk you through a bike that i built over the last few years so yeah stick around <laughs> If you're new to the channel, my name's Sarah, awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down there. In this episode, I'm just going to be talking about a bike I've built over the last few years. I actually finished it about three years ago, um, but due to various personal circumstances, uh, I haven't had a chance to get it registered, but I took it for its test a couple of weeks ago and I'm just waiting for registration number. So I thought I'd take the opportunity while I'm waiting to show you guys what I've built, talk a little bit about it, why I built it, so yeah, let's go. appearance on the channel yet. You've always seen me out on my Blackbird. But this is a bike that I've built over the last few years and I thought I'd take the opportunity to give you a give you a quick tour of it and explain a little bit about my motivation for building it. As you can see this bike's very different to my Honda and this one being a, actually a Buell based custom chop. The bike itself it's called Black Rose. It's the only bike I've ever built that I've actually given a name to. Uh, this one is a tribute to Sophie Lancaster. Sophie Lancaster is a young goth girl who was attacked just over 13 years ago now by a gang of youths just for the way she was dressed. And unfortunately as a result of that attack she later died in hospital having been in a coma. The youths involved in the attack were tracked down, two of them got life in prison. The other three got various different sentences. Subsequent to the attack, Sophie's mum started up a charity called the Sophie Lancaster Foundation. And I'll put some links in the description below this video so you can go and check out the awesome work that they do. I chose to make this bike as a tribute because it's just a cause that's so close to my heart could have very easily been any one of us from that gothic subculture who were, who could have been attacked and been in that situation so it seemed fitting when I was building this bike when I started building this bike about five years ago that I made it a tribute just because it's something that's so important to me so the bike itself it's mostly custom the engine is from a Buell XB9R converted to carburetor just to keep things simple and the electronics to a minimum. The frame is a one-off custom built by Briz at Custom Cycle Development. I'll put a link to his website in the description below this video if you want to go and check out his work. It's a soft tail style frame so it does have rear suspension even though it looks like it's a hard tail. Those of you who might be familiar with the Hardys will know what a soft tail is. It's got around 30 degrees of rake, so it's not too long. Uh, the roads around here are quite twisty, so I still wanted something that I could ride and throw around a little bit. The front end on the bike, 49mm Harley Dyna forks, which have been shortened slightly. I've also got a progressive spring upgrade fitted in them, just to stiffen them up a little bit. The yokes, billet aluminium. Again, made by Custom Cycle Developments. 
The fuel tank is a modified Harley Sportster tank. It doesn't look particularly modified from the top, but I actually cut the whole bottom of the tank out to allow it to sit down on the frame. The rear mod guard is completely custom. It's one that I made to fit. It's mounted to the swing arm, so it moves with the rear wheel. The rear wheel is a Buell wheel and retains the original belt drive. The front wheel is from a Honda Blackbird, coincidentally, more than anything else. The front brake, the caliper, is from a Suzuki Hayabusa. The headlights are from a 2012 Triumph Speed Triple. All of the hand controls are from a Suzuki GSX-R1000 from the mid-2000s. The seat is a one-off. I fabricated a pan for it and then Alistair over at Elsmade did an awesome job covering it. All of the paintwork and the artwork was done by Darren at Air FX over in Norwich. Again, I'll put a link in the description below. So like I said, I'm now waiting for the UK licensing authority, the DVLA, to issue me with the registration number. The bike did recently pass its SVA test, single vehicle approval test, which is what we have to do in the UK to get custom built vehicles registered. I did a separate video on that, so keep an eye out for that if you're interested in the process that we have to go through, or if you're looking at doing something similar yourself. Keep an eye out for future vlogs. All of the ones you've seen so far have been me out on my Honda, but there'll be some videos very soon of me out riding this bike as well. That's it guys, thanks very much for watching. It's been fantastic having you here again and letting me show you the bike that I've built over the last five years. If you like what you see, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit the subscribe button down below. I'll be back very soon.